I think one place that we have to look next is uh, Bangladesh, which so far has remained off most people's radar screen. There are a lot of militant uh, Islamists there. Bangladesh may not be on the radar screen of counter-terrorism officials, but our reporting suggests that this South Asian Muslim country of 130 million may be a new hiding place for Al-Qaeda. One of the first terrorist groups to endorse bin Laden's 1998 fatwa to kill Americans is Bangladeshi. And in 2001, an Islamist party gained important positions in the government, providing a sympathetic environment for militant groups, particularly in the southeast of the country. In March 2002, I traveled down to the southeastern tip of Bangladesh, an area which I've been visiting off and on for the past 20 years. And uh, this time I was rather shocked by the presence of a number of madrasas, Islamic institutions, and uh, fundamentalist groups which were both armed and uh, dangerous. The Bangladeshi government categorically denies allegations that Islamic militants have found a hiding place in the country. However, this internal paper prepared by a Bangladeshi terrorist group lists 19 training camps for militants operating in the country today. The document strongly suggests that Bangladesh is one of the several dozen countries where members of the terror network have now taken refuge. Qaeda is a beehive. It's just been s smacked with a baseball bat. And a bunch of the bees were killed, but most of them have dispersed. Um, they don't need a centralized organization. They're everywhere, nowhere. We don't know where they are. No matter where Al-Qaeda's ranks have scattered, they have found common ground in cyberspace. London. We returned here for a closer look at what may be the final frontier for Al-Qaeda. Cyberspace. Paul Edel is a veteran journalist, fluent in Arabic, who runs his own website analyzing what is happening on Al-Qaeda's new battlefront. Uh, what are we seeing here? This is the main Qaeda website. Here you've got Ayman Zawahiri's latest book. And they're, they're posting stuff that's pretty recent, right? This is uh, being updated at the moment. It does appear and disappear. At the moment it's squatting on the servers of a Dutch football club who I presume have no idea that it's there. You could argue that Al-Qaeda has moved its whole leadership and organization into the virtual world. I think the, the importance of this site that Al-Qaeda um, has set up is that it means you don't have to go to Afghanistan anymore to sit at the feet of the leaders and hear and Im imbibe their philosophy and strategy. So when I first saw the full range of material here, I thought that you had everything needed to support a spontaneous or dispersed Qaeda cell. You can even find manuals about how to build your own high-tech explosives. And you can certainly find discussions about Al-Qaeda's future attacks. You, you, look at present trends. If these continue in the same way for the next five years, what is your prediction? Uh, Al-Qaeda is out there, unchallenged, campaigning for political support to create this endless conflict against the West. The West uh, needs to do far more than military and intelligence action against uh, these people if, it is, uh, if it's to um, uh, defeat their, their threat. It needs to campaign for political support among Muslims with the same energy and imagination as Al-Qaeda does. Will war against Iraq trigger even more terror in the future? And will it create even more recruits for Al-Qaeda itself? What the Americans have done is actually to implement what Bin Laden wanted. That is to wage a cosmic campaign against Muslims. At least that's the way many Muslims see it. U.S. officials are confident that in the long term, they will put Al-Qaeda out of business. 
Tremendous strides have been made. More than 3,000 Al Qaeda and their supporter have been arrested and de detained. More than one third of their leadership is no longer in the picture. We're actively after these guys. They know it. You know, the odds are with us. We will be victorious. No question about it. You can quote me. However, between now and then, we're very concerned about the losses that we um, that we risk. <laughs>